Hey Pisces, welcome to your August 2021 Psychic Tarot reading with me, Stella Wild. This is for Pisces, the Sun, and Moon, Rising, and Venus, your general energies for August 2021. So welcome to the channel or welcome back as the case may be. It is all about giving you the intuitive information you need to manifest your wildest dreams. And to that end, I have two exciting announcements. My new Ultimate Dream Life Creation Kit is ready. I will leave a link to it in the description if you really want to dive in with some interesting writing prompts, with some interesting affirmations, with me doing some guided meditations to help you along your dream manifesting path. And also, if you would like to join in <laughs> with a manifestation coaching uh, session, which is included with the Dream Life Creation Kit, then check it out below. The link is in the description. And Miss Thing now has her own merchandise. So there is now a merch shelf below the channel. So please do check it out. You can also get um, tarot themed uh, merchandise there as well. So check it out below. So remember, these are general readings apply to energies to your life. We see what comes up in these readings. Money, career, and business readings for every single sign have already be been done, dusted, uploaded. I will leave the link to your sign in the description of the video. All right, Pisces, we're going to start with this deck to get the energetic theme for your month ahead. And we will be clarifying that with the bold and the bodacious. So let's see what we have for you. All right, that one fell right out. Ooh, we have faith. Beautiful. So something new is getting ready to be born. You see, it looks like she's pregnant here. There's a full moon. We have the number 31 here. So by the end of the month, it does seem like something is about to burst onto the scene. <laughs> wow. Okay, beautiful. So keep the faith. Let's clarify it. Beautiful. It has, it has the flavor of Empress energy here, doesn't it? So you have been incubating some sort of new dream, new plan for your life. Keep holding on. You got to have faith. I mean, George Michael said you have to, so I believe, I believe him. All right. <laughs> the Knight of Cups. Beautiful. So there is some sort of beautiful offer on its way to you. Some sort of emotional shift, emotional change. This is happy news, happy changes. So, you know, just keep the focus. Like, it's very interesting how she looks like she's in a meditation here. Visualize, keep visualizing what you want. What does this cup represent for you? Keep visualizing that beautiful energy coming toward you and manifesting just as you are seeing it in your mind's eye. That is the energy to hold on to this month. So excellent, excellent energies. We do have a very powerful full moon coming up. The second one in Aquarius, it's at 29 degrees. I do feel like it's a major full moon because the first full moon in Aquarius in July was at one degree. Now this one's at 29. So I feel it is really wrapping up some sort of big, big energy. And, you know, this is, of course, if you have Pisces rising happening in your subconscious. So which 12th house incubation, you know, things behind the scenes incubating, getting ready to pop. So I do feel pay attention around the 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, all in that time period, Pisces, for something some sort of beautiful change offer connection to pop in your world. All right, Pisces, let's dive in deeper to the energies for your month ahead. Wow, this is a great start. Let's see what else is going on for you this month. Pisces, oh, we have the Knight of Swords. So two knights already coming out in your reading. And here's your energy, the King of Cups. Wow, okay. So there is some beautiful beautiful news arriving again because we have the king of cups showing up and of course cup energy is associated with the moon since cancer rules the moon and cancer is of course cups energy i do feel as i just said about this that some important news is winging its way to you winging its way to you 
at this full moon time. So we got to pull some more energies, but I think this is going to be very nice. Your energy is showing up here. Something's going to make you happy. All right, we have a five of pentacles. Here's the queen of cups. Wow. Wow. The magician. The king of swords. And the page of pentacles. Okay, wow. Wow. All right, so... I feel like what's going on here is some sort of major manifestation energy, major miracle manifesting. I mean, we have the magician here. We have your energy. We have the knight of cups, the knight of swords. Now we also have a queen of cups. So what I feel is going on, you could be meeting somebody this month who's going to change your life. Now, it does not have to be romantic. It could be perhaps even business related because we have pentacles here. We have a pentacle here, which I'll get to that one in a second. Um, remember, it's a general reading. You got to apply it to your life. Um, but whatever you have been keeping the faith about, whatever you have been wanting to change and shift in your life, you're manifesting it, baby. Look, here it is. The magician. This is based in your power, your creativity, what you want, your, your energy that you have been just pouring into this situation. So a big dream has been a brewing. I think a big dream comes a knocking on your door. Now, it's interesting we have the Queen of Cups showing up also because, of course, when the King and Queen show up, it's a natural match. So some of you are manifesting some sort of very positive change with a significant other, either calling one in, taking the relationship to the next level, whatever it might be. Others of you are just whatever this wish is that's manifesting is really aligning with a whole and complete vision for your life. Because the king and the queen, it's like the yin, the yang, the, the, whole, the whole sense of self. All right, so I kind of like look at the energies that way also. But there's something very significant here. Now, it's possible for some of you that since we have two kings here, I'm going to read this a couple different ways. You could be trying to decide between two people. I mean, we have a king, of, we have the knight of cups. So we have a knight of cups energy here. And we also have a knight of swords and we have a king of swords. So some of you might be trying to decide what, which one do I choose? Scorpio had a similar energy with making a choice as well. Um, so some of you, that may be going on. This choice may also involve perhaps something with your finances, perhaps choosing between two jobs. And these, these two energies are about the particular people you, you could be working with. So it's not that the air energy is bad or anything. No, this is just very much going to be dependent on your intuition, Queen of Cups, on what you're deciding and feeling into is the right relationship, connection, etc. for you to go in. All right, so that's another way to look at this energy. Some of you are having very important contract decision to make, especially regarding some sort of new steps forward in your job, your career your finances, maybe even study. Sometimes Page of Pentacles is about study, digging, digging deep, educational type things. So the King of Swords can be about that, making some sort of just huge decision for your life. And it's next to major arcana energy. So I do think that that is the case. Now, why do we have the Five of Pentacles here? Because it's interesting. I think what this goes back to me, what this goes back to for me is that Notice here, we have the similar kind of colors right here, and it's like something incubating, something incubating. Um, I think this is coming up as a little reminder, this Five of Pentacles, to not focus and dwell on what you don't want or the things that didn't work out. But because that's Five of Pentacles. Oh, I'm out in the cold. Nothing happened. I'm all like sad and lonely and bored and whatever. No, 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 no. Don't focus on nurturing those energies. Let's hide that away. You want to focus on nurturing the exciting new energies that want to manifest. So that, I feel, is a reminder for you because you have this powerful manifestation energy right in the middle here. So this is very, very strong. I think there's going to be some very positive changes coming in for you. But the key goes back to your personal manifestation power. 
your magic of intense focus right here. Here we go. So do not let your faith waver. Do not let your thoughts waver. Keep the focus on the beautiful magic that you want to manifest in your world. All right. So as I did with some of the other signs, I, I kind of switched it depending on what came out in the reading. I clarified even further the last energy that we had in the reading, the little, the cards I just pulled. So page of pentacles. Pages for me are baby steps, pentacles, something solid that can grow. So let's clarify this and see where this, this energy is going. This energy of change, this energy of fruition, of things manifesting for you. This is really good energy. All right, let's see. So good, Pisces. All right, where is this page of pentacles going? What do we need to know? All right, so we have a seven of wands. And we have a queen of pentacles. So you are absolutely manifesting some sort of very tangible new reality. Queen of pentacles. Look, I mean, this, is, this really could be related to finances for some of you, sure. But this is something that's solid. Something that you can hold in your hand. I mean, honestly, for some of you, if this is a relationship and the change that's coming is a deeper commitment, this could be the ring. I mean, really, that's what the a pentacle can look like a diamond, right? So it could be manifesting, <laughs> manifesting the, the ring. Um, there's interesting, again, with the seven of wands here, you're busting through any sort of preconceived limits, any limits you may have been under before with your mind, your energy, your situation, whatever this is, these you're busting through this five of pentacles. And even look at how focused this person is to kind of escape from all of this energy around them. They are really on point. And that's the thing, again, that's getting emphasized in this reading is not to waver, right? Faith is not about wavering. Faith is about just this solid sense of, yes, this will manifest this or something better. And we have it right here. So this is beautiful because remember, we're asking about this. So something solid is growing. Something solid is growing. All right, let's see what we have. And it's growing to the next level. Happiness, beautiful. The sun, the two of swords, the knight of wands. The three of pentacles, interesting card, and the four of cups. Okay. Now, some of you are going to be rejecting something so that you can choose something else. For some of you, it's very much about the choice between the king of cups energy and the king of swords energy, whatever that relates to for you. Could be between two people, could be between an opportunity that's more about nurturing your heart and an opportunity that's more perhaps about the intellect, you, you know, nurturing your brain in some way. I mean, that's possible. Just have to apply the energy to your life. So for example, if you're having to choose between two job offers, one could be on paper, like the logical choice, King of Swords, right? The other one, King of Cups, you could just be really feeling, yeah, maybe that doesn't make sense on paper. Maybe they're even paying me a little less or whatever, but I'm feeling good energy about that one. So it's like that type of thing. You just have to see. But we have this linchpin energy here is this Knight of Wands. So there, again, another knight. How many knights have shown up in this reading? Your third knight. So fast movement. A riddle will be solved. Information is forthcoming. That's going to help you move forward quickly. There is happiness and excitement here with the Sun card. There is a decision to be made, the two of swords. All right. So, you know, you will be deciding and you will be deciding quickly. And the plan has already been set in motion. That's this three of pentacles here. For me, three of pentacles is very much about architecture and planning and focused energy, focused work. So this has already been completed, noticed in this particular deck. The guy's not working on it anymore. It's completed. So the plan is already set in motion. The universe has already kind of, you know, getting ready to deliver the goods with all these knights coming in. But look, one is going to get rejected. You are going to say no to something and choose something as well. So, but it's in your control, your power 
because you're showing up how many times in this reading and also because we have the magician so knight of wands very fast energy knight of wands is also about usually so i mean it can be about some sort of sexy connection it's very impassioned energy but it can also be a card of actually physically moving some of you might be deciding to move to a warmer climate for example the sun card so that may not be for everybody but for some of you that's what's underway Regardless, even if you're not moving, if that's not part of your situation this month to make a decision, again, it's about the decision to be actively happy. Notice that in this deck, the kid's not on the horse anymore and there's somebody else in the picture. So there is going to be somebody else in your life this month that is going to be significant to the development of this situation. Could be somebody new coming in, could be somebody who's already here, but there's two in this particular sun card. And it's that they're playing. That's the other thing. Like, it's going to be fun. It's going to be light. It's going to be free. That's the energy to keep focusing on. And that's the energy I think that's going to help you make your decision. All right. Now, the other thing I will say too, because of the fire and the fire showing up here, Leo energy, I do feel this is, this is coming at that full moon at the very end of Leo season. It's in Aquarius, but it's at the very last two days of Leo season. So, you know, that's when the decision will present itself and you cannot dawdle about to give them their answer. That's the other thing with the Knight of Wands. I mean, you got this. And with the Knight of, I mean, excuse me, with the Four of Cups showing up here, it's interesting because of all the cup energy we also had, your energy represented. It's like, you're not going to hesitate. You already are going to intuitively know exactly which opportunity will not be aligned for you emotionally. You will base, I feel, I mean, it's a general reading, but I think paramount is going to be your emotional and intuitive take and response, you know, your, your understanding of these energies that you're going to go by. You're going to steer your decision by that and not about anything else. Like I said, it may look good on paper, but Pisces, you know, you don't always do the thing that looks good on paper. You follow your heart. And that is what I think is really going on here. And you're not going to regret it. I don't think. Look at this beautiful situation manifesting for you. So Pisces, get ready. Lots of change with these knights coming in, but you're ready for it. You are ready for it. You have been wanting in this change for a long time, and here it is. So get ready. Leave me a comment, Pisces. Let me know what's going on for you with this energy. I'm really pumped for you guys. Great energies here to use this month. Take care. I'll see you again soon. Stella Wild signing out.